this video I'll tell you a little bit about the mixer brush tool. The mixer brush is cradled here on the toolbox along with the regular brush and uh, the color replacement tool that we used before. It's at the very bottom mixer brush tool. The preferences are very similar to what you have seen before in the brush except that you will have a uh, color palette you will be loading with uh, the color of the image you have selected. We also have access to a couple of different brushes that we haven't used before and a couple of tools that uh, are exclusive to the Mixer Brush tool. I have loaded the image Mixer Brush 3. I'm going to open up uh, a new layer on top of this, the uh, new layer second from the right down here. Now I have a layer 1. I'm going to make sure I click on Sample All Layers so that I can do my work in this blank layer but whenever I ask Photoshop to pick a color it will do it whether it's on the new layer or the old one which is the one we're actually going to be using let's select a brush and I can do that by going to window clicking open the brush menu and brush presets tabs I'm going to use the brush presets and I'm going to pick this one here it's called round point stiff click on that 20 points should be okay for what we're doing. I'm going to minimize this just to get out of the way. And let's uh, check the uh, brush first. I'm going to clean the brush. It's got uh, some paint from my last project. I'm going to click on the Alt key. And while pressing the Alt key, you'll notice that the cursor is now a target. I'm going to start with this tree. So I'm going to pick, first of all, a brown from here and there and I'm just mixing the colors up a little bit I'm clicking alt and picking up colors and you'll see the colors that you're selecting over here I let go of the alt key and now I'm going to start brushing and this effect is is kinda of subtle right now I'm going to switch to a larger brush I'm going to go up to maybe twice as large at 40 and now you can see maybe a little bit better I'm going to click on Alt and pick up a couple more of the browns. And we're getting sort of right now the illusion that we're brushing, we're painting the shape of the tree right on top of where the other tree is and giving it the appearance of a painting. Since it's mixing the colors from the original tree and uh, the new colors that it's picking up as you're brushing. You can either clean your brush by cleaning brush here or you could try to change your preferences. I'm going to go to a wet heavy mix I guess to get a little bit more color in here. It doesn't look like I'm picking up a lot. And that may be working a little bit better for me. If I turn off the background you'll see where I'm going with the tree. I'm going to clean the brush and try some of these leaves. I'm going to pick up some green colors. I'm clicking Alt and clicking. And now I'm going to use a smaller brush, maybe down again to 20 or so. And I'm just clicking and clicking and clicking and getting some of that some of that foliage out. I could uh, go to the presets and see if I could find a leaf pattern or make a leaf pattern but I think right now just with the brushes I'll be okay because this is basically what's going on. I'm going to go back and try another one of the trees with a thicker brush. up the colors from this one and slowly you'll see that your picture is turning into is beginning to have the appearance of being a painting this is not necessarily a quick project this is one that will require many strokes and uh, a little patience 
you can try one of the other images that are included with this project. You can also go and find your own image and uh, turn it, that in. Good luck with your brushes. I'll keep on painting this, but it's going to take a while. I look forward to seeing your painting.